Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today we are going to be looking at all of the Callaway Paradigm wood models. So this year for the new Callaway drivers, we're going to start off with the Paradigm Standard. Now that's the one that's going to have the adjustable weight. Now it's got the industry first carbon chassis. So it's 360 kind of degrees around the driver, forged carbon on the bottom. And then you have the triaxial carbon crown, which is the, the kind of standard carbon that you've seen on golf clubs before. Callaway says the benefit of that is that it's 44% lighter. When it's lighter, they're able to redistribute weight and increase MOI and forgiveness across the faces. The next kind of new idea for Callaway is they redesigned jailbreak. Jailbreak's always been something that essentially connects the crown and the sole of the golf club to help strengthen the face to increase ball speeds across the face. New face design across the board, again with the AI technology. And then we have the forged titanium face cup, which is new this year. That is also going to be helping propel ball speeds. So everything about this driver seems to be pushing ball speed and launch conditions through the roof on top of making them very forgiving for the players that they are targeted at. We're gonna have Trent Maxwell hitting for us today. So take it away, Mr. Trent. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'll have no problem getting into the average club head speed today <laughs> since I'm overcoming the, the flu virus over the holiday. So <laughs> we're going to uh, try some of the different models today. We're starting with the normal paradigm uh, that's got the slide, sliding movable weight in the back. Looks a little different than last year's Rogue. It's, got, it's more back to the glossy finish but it's got a lot more carbon in it. It's got a 360 carbon crown and it's chassis. It's it's pretty good. So let's let's take a look, take it for a spin here. And and just for clarity purposes, Trent's hitting all of these with his fitted driver shaft. That was a nice whiff. <laughs> now, what rogue driver are you playing right now, Trent? Uh, I have a Rogue Triple Diamond. Okay, so one of the things we can kind of discuss is, when you, especially when you're hitting the Triple Diamond, just mm -hmm. compare them, shape and sound and feel, that kind of thing. Uh, so shape-wise, this one's a little bit more rounded than mine. Uh, certainly, like I said, the glossy top, um, which isn't bad. It's just, it's just different. Uh, this one is the standard head. It's a 10.5, which I have a 10.5 Triple Diamond. The only other difference is I've got mine set to, to negative one so that the face is open a little bit more. For me, the sound's a little bit different after just- Sound is different. It sounds a little bit louder than mine. Mm -hmm. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's also, you know, 30 degrees in Northeast Ohio and we're hitting from a bay. So it's gonna sound a little different in here than, than it's probably going to with a normal golf ball on an 80 degree day. It doesn't sound bad. I kind of like the sound. I yeah. actually think they, the sound- I think they nailed it. I think it's top. a little bit of an improvement actually. And I thought the Rogue sounded really good. Well, AJ, I'm not doing you any favors here. I'm not hitting it on the center. I don't know. You're getting, you're getting a good sample set. Ugh. I'm going to try to hit one in the center. One of the big things, that, that's a good example actually, right? You're not swinging at full speed right now. It's cold. Haven't hit drivers in a minute, right? But, for example, that last one that you missed, you're still in the middle of the fairway. It's not hurting you. <clears throat> it's closer. Seems to be the, the big thing they were trying to push with this one was speed and forgiveness. So Yeah, and I would say... You know, none of these have been very good swings, but the downrange part of it has certainly been a lot tighter. I mean, those were all toe hits that <laughs> normal drivers for me, it had been left of the planet. So, <laughs> I mean, they're at least findable. You gotta like a forgiving toe shot. I got the two-way miss going. She's hanging on. How about the window? Does it look like it's coming out of a similar window you're used to seeing? Uh, yes. I mean, again, being a 10.5 head, um, this one's 
probably spins a little bit more than mine does. Yeah. Uh, being the normal head. Mm -hmm. But so Again, another good miss. This one I'll take that all day. That was a great hit. I mean, that's right up the right side. She's drawn back in. Like you said, good mess, right? Um, this one, we're targeting the mass populace with this one. Correct. Right? Yeah, this is probably <laughs> going to fit the greatest majority. Yep. Um, what I, Again, what I like about it is the fact that, one, it sounds good. Uh, two, it looks good. And I like the movable weight in the back because a, that, allows, that, yeah. that allows, you know, for that normal player or the average player a little bit more workability from a standpoint of where you need the weight. Yeah, I mean, Callaway's um, saying 12 yards of workability. I mean, we're fitters, we've seen that does actually help. It makes yes. a difference big time. I would you agree know? with that, yes. All right, absolutely. Let's, uh, let's throw the X on there. We're gonna use okay. your same shaft. Okay. Wanna compare kind of some of the differences. Now these are all 10-5 heads, and we're gonna use the same shaft for all of them. So you said this shaft I was fitted for, this shaft I was fitted for 100% capacity, so. <laughs> yeah, might, yeah, might be a little stiff right now. <laughs> it's a little stiff right now, but that's okay. So I'd say the X is probably made for the, the guy that maybe needs to hit it a little bit higher, maybe needs a little bit more spin. It's, it's, it's got, a, it's got a, a little draw bias potential in there as well, which is, you know, good. A lot of golfers, one of the first things they're going to say when you ask them kind of what they're looking for is, you know, I missed the ball right. Right? Correct. You put something like this in their hands, gives them a fighting chance. I mean, first things first, probably not the best driver for me since I missed a lot. No, this is not driver uh, of choice for Trent. <laughs> as far as the look compared to the normal model, a little bit bigger look mm -hmm. to it, a little bit bigger footprint to it. Yeah. Not a bad thing. But the shape's a little bit stretched back, it seems. Correct. Trying to put that CG lower and deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't look closed at all. Looks pretty square. I'm curious to see the sound. Sometimes these drivers don't sound the best. I thought the sound was good. That was really yeah. good. Matter of fact, I hit it straighter than the other one. I was actually going to ask because I expected that to be a lot louder. I was going to ask if that was more of a bottomy hit. <laughs> but uh, A little bit. A little bit on the bottom. Not bad, though. But, again, a good miss. But you can kind of see the spin went up a little bit. I missed it a little bit low on the face. Mm-hmm. Got that one a little higher on the face. Yep. Sounded a bit better. Even though the first one didn't sound bad, that one sounded sound good. better struck. And for all intents and purposes, for you, a guy who can definitely get a ball going left at times, right? Mm -hmm. That wasn't a bad shot. No. Uh -uh. No, mm. I mean, so far. Kind of. For a driver that's nowhere near the one I would put you in, you got away with that. I like it. I mean, again, this wouldn't be the one I would have picked, but uh, from a standpoint of, again, I can kind of see the better downrange flight. Yeah. Because it doesn't want to see, it doesn't seem like it wants to turn over as much as past drivers would have for me. I, mean, I, I again, agree with not that. Not making the best swings here, but. It, it seems like this one's fighting to keep you straighter Correct. versus fighting to really kind of hook on you. Closer. Still a little low in the face, but better. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't need a 10-5 in this driver. No, <laughs> I think this one we could probably say, if you were ever going to go with this one, we'd crank you down a bit. They do offer a 9, 10, 5, and 12 degree heads in all of them, I believe, right? Correct. Or no, I don't, they don't Not do a in 12. The triple diamond. Yeah, they don't do a 12 in the triple diamond. I think they offer an 8, though, in the triple diamond this year. Mm -hmm. We'll save the eight head for Ian. Okay. Not a bad group there. So the next one we're going to hit is going to be the triple diamond. Okay. Now, I personally am someone who's always been a big fan of the triple diamonds from a shape standpoint, sound standpoint. I've played a lot of the Callaway drivers in the triple diamond. I love the way these things look and sound, right? And I uh -huh. think this one kind of checks off all the boxes for me at least. This is a beautiful golf club. This is definitely more traditional in shape. Super classic pear shape, yeah. A little uh, deeper first, in the face, it seems like. 
Agreed. You can see more of the face. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see you can see how it's more condensed. Mm -hmm. Again, more traditional shape. Yep. They also took away the chevron on top, so there's no alignment aid on top. I love that. Which Good is look. super clean. Some people like that. Some people, you know, might not have mm -hmm. that. That's this would be the one of the very first drivers I've hit without an alignment aid on top. But love the sound. That one sounds the best to me. It's got just a little bit more pitch to it, I'd say. Correct. John Rom just won the century of this driver first week out on tour. He hits the ball pretty good. He hits the ball pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's pretty solid. <laughs> Tried not to leave it out to the right. <laughs> so, who are we aiming this one at? I know uh -huh. that Callaway would say that this one is for the, the, the player who's looking to try to work the ball a little bit, right? I would Lower say, spin definitely helps with that. I would say that, yes, this would be a little bit more designed to be, f it's designed to be a little bit more fade biased, mm -hmm. uh, designed to be a little bit more workable, and designed for you know, someone who maybe wants to see a little bit more of the face. Mm -hmm. uh, it's deeper in face, so it's a more traditional shape versus the other two that are a little bit more modern shaped. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice to have all three in the line to kind of go based on what looks good to you and what performs. Mm -hmm. So 10.5 in this one versus the 10.5 in the other two, certainly a lower ball flight. Yeah, it looks like it's moving trajectory. a lot more forward for you, right? The other, mm -hmm. the other ones tended to just, from watching you hit a lot of drivers, looked like they were going a bit higher. Certainly lower, a lot lower spin. Yep. I have to find a different shaft. <laughs> or, or, or turn the sun up a little bit. <laughs> or, yeah. How about take, turn, the, turn the clock back on my age a little bit? Turn the, turn the clock back, take a layer off, turn the sun up, all those things, you know? Good to go. <laughs> there we go. Tried the John Rom one, hit one really high on the face. John Rom, John Rom would be proud. Yeah, except he hits it about 80 yards past me. I mean, that's only on the carry. <laughs> Got that one off the bottom a little bit. Here's the one thing that I'd say, right? I mean, you, you're not striking this one super, super good right now. Right. And it is the least forgiving out of the ones, right? Correct. However, yeah. again, I know just from playing triple diamond drivers in the past, I've played two different models of them, right? I could guarantee you that if, you, like, for example, you hit, like, you know, one of the older models, let's say in the Epic line, or even before that, if you go back to the, the Black Big Bertha line, Mm -hmm. that those strikes aren't holding up in the middle of the fairway. Uh, no. Not even close. Not even remotely close. So it's, Pro Probably again, don't even get them airborne. Yeah, no. They I would mean, have so little spin on them that... It seems like this is actually pretty forgive forgiving for what it is. Hey, there you go. Got and one and on we the still face. got that nice one in there. That one won't have any spin. So what do you think? I think, I, I mean, I like it. I, it I, I like the shaping of it as well as I hit the X model. I should probably play the X model. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I think, I think the- Just go with two this year, right? Right. Any, any winter tournaments, we pull out the X. Correct, yeah, yeah. I'll, just, I'll just be Phil Mixon, and I'll just carry two drivers. Yeah, why not? Uh, I think the most important part is to go try them and, and see what you like. And Big see, time. See what works best for you. And, mm -hmm. I think, um, I can honestly say from a fitting perspective, I'm going to feel more comfortable giving this driver to people this year than I was, let's say, last year with the Triple Diamond. Seems like this one's not going to be anywhere near as punishing, and it seems like the top end is really good. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm a fan. Yeah. No, I shoot. I hit at least six out of the eight fairways. Yeah. 
Don't I mean, want to hit out of bounds, but you know. Just, all right. You're allowed one, you know. It's okay. It is early January. No, I think that did uh, that did pretty good. I mean, for, it, it passes the eye test for sure for me. I love the way it sounds. That's actually probably my favorite sounding driver I've heard in a while. That thing sounds really good. Um, this was my first experience with this out here, right? And uh -huh. have you had any fittings with this yet? I have not. So we your just, first experience just got with this them, as well, so. yeah. Right. I mean, that is, I'm impressed, I'm truly impressed with that. It seems like that's going to be a pretty cool one to pull out this year. And I'm hitting them about where I normally hit them, so. Dead center all the time. No. Perfect. A little bit out on the toe, <laughs> about kind of in the middle of the face. So the fact that most of those are down in the center mm -hmm. says something about, I guess, its downrange flight capabilities. So. You know, it, it's, it's that carbon chassis, redistributing weight, increase MOI, you know? Mm -hmm. Just just makes it more forgiving across the face. And it seems to be the case, right? Right. There you go. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Bingo.